okay, so a really strange thing. Uh, well, I shouldn't say strange, but <clears throat> weird. Um, I just got a phone call from my, uh, you know, person I was engaged to in, uh, in my early twenties. Uh, you know, my, one of my ex, and you know, I think I've explained a story where her husband died, and uh, she reached out to me. You know, and um, <clears throat> so you know, we've been talking and stuff like that. You know. And that's it, you know. And uh, you know, she has two, uh, three kids, uh, two with her husband, and one with her, her husband uh, had a child with somebody else before David. And you know, so she just called me. I answered the phone, and she hanged up on me. And so I called her back, and you know, she didn't answer. She didn't pick up. So, you know, uh, here is, is what they do again, you know, we're trying to isolate me and, you know, because I talk to her, you know, um, you know, almost weekly, you know, maybe once or twice a week, sometimes more, depends. And so they're very, very upset because, again, me exposing what is that they're doing. But what do you expect? What do you think? Do you think that you can do this to me or anybody else? And it's okay that I'm not going to expose you, you know. And it's not like if they they've been doing this to us for you know a certain number of years and then they stop. They don't. They do this for the rest of our lives. So we have to expose them to make sure that this doesn't happen to any other, to the next generation or any other generation of of of, of human beings that they that they feel that they can do this to. And these are like I said, religious cult leaders who are embedded within the US government uh, and embedded within law enforcement and you know indoctrinated with certain belief systems religious belief systems okay so like I said you know these people they, they live a lie and their action shows that they live a lie so when they get get up in church and they saying this and that and blah blah blah, well, Jesus came to love you and 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 to forgive you of, uh, uh, of your sins or what have you. See, they feel like they can commit acts of evil, get on their knees and pray, and be forgiven by God or Jesus, and their conscience is clear, right? And they can do this and target anybody for whatever reason. And then continue around and say, well, only God can judge me. This is their sick mentality. And their sick personality. Okay? And these are, uh, these are, enemy, these are our enemies. Basically, for those of us who understand what religion does to, to individuals. Okay? They don't practice what they preach. They don't live what how, how they preach and believe. The actions are, are contradictory because guess what? What they believe in, their religion is, is contradictory. Okay, they're hypocritical because what they 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 the religion that they believe in and the book that they claim to read and believe in is hypocritical. But they can't see because again they're the indoctrination. Okay, so, <laughs> I, I, well, you know, I guess they what they feel like because uh, she, you know, they get her to, to whatever, whatever that I'm not going to talk to her again. Or she's not going to talk to me again, and that's fine. I, I don't have, I have a problem with that. Listen, I got other people I can talk to. It may not be that much, but I still got people I, 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 I can talk to. Okay, as simple as that. So, there you go. All right. Like I said, see, I believe in truth, all right? And this right here is a symbol of life. I believe in life, not death. Okay, my I've I've reprogrammed my mind for the from the 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 uh, destructive mental state that I've been conditioned within me through religion and also through the state. Oh, what happened? Wow, my, <laughs> that's weird. See how they manipulate stuff? My my television uh, just shut off. 
and turn back on. But that's them, you know? I mean, like, I don't really give a damn anyway. So, that's that. Like I said, so you see, when I, when I, when I, when you, when you speak the truth and you understand, you know, the truth, right? And you, you, you so you stop following the lies because your whole life you've been living a lie. Okay? Your whole life you've been living a lie. You've been given, uh, you're given worship and praise to something that doesn't exist. That's something on, that, that, well, I shouldn't say it doesn't exist, but only exists to benefit those at the top. Right, and they are overseers who they have within the society to make sure that the masses are compliant with how they want you to behave, and how to uh, believe, and how to act, and how to think. But once you start thinking for yourself, then that's a problem. When you start asking questions, then that's a problem. When you can see the programming, then that's a problem because then they're going to attack you so that you're not going to influence others to come into the awareness of their situation to come into the light the truth which they claim their religion and their with their Jesus or God supposed to but the light is within you the individual okay the creator is within you right because it takes a man and a woman to be reincarnated and create a life and through that child is the reincarnation of both of generations that lives within you are now living within them including you so when you understand that concept you're gonna look at religion and see it for what it is okay all right